Ang August 15 po ay piyesta ng pagakyat ng mahal na birhen sa langit. Iniakyat siya. Hindi niya iniakyat ang kanyang sarili. Ito po ay fourth glorious mystery. At dagdag po dito ang Assumption of the Virgin Mary, ang tawag natin ay dogma. Ang ibig sabihin po ng dogma, kailangan paniwalaan, tanggapin, ipagtanggol ng lahat ng Katoliko. Magkakasala po tayo sa ating pananampalataya, magkakasala tayo sa Diyos kung hindi natin tinatanggap yung turo na ang mahal na Birhen pagkatapos ng kanyang buhay dito sa mundo ay iniakyat sa langit, kaluluwa at katawan. At the end of her life here on earth, the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven, body and soul. Hindi lang po soul, kundi body. Because the Lord wants to save body and soul. Ano ang pinakamahalagang aral na pwede nating pulutin sa assumption ng mahal na Birheng Maria? Marami, pero sa araw na ito, tandaan lang po natin, our body is holy. Banal ang body mo. Banal ang katawan mo. At walang bahagi ng katawan mo na hindi banal. Kahit gano'ng kachismoso yung dila, banal pa rin yan. Kahit gano'ng rumi yung katawan, banal pa rin. Kahit sinira na ng drugs o alcohol ang katawan, banal pa rin. Our body is holy, And God created our body to be His temple here on earth. Bahay tayo ng Dios. Bakit kailangan nating alalahanin na banal ang ating katawan? Kasi maraming tayong kasalanan laban sa katawan. You must take care of your body. But you must also take care of the body of other people. You must respect your body, but you must also respect the body of other people. The body of everybody is holy. The body of everybody is sacred. And when the Lord assumed the Virgin Mary body and soul into heaven, it is a reminder for us that our body needs salvation. Ano-ano ang kasalanan ng tao laban sa katawan na nakikita natin sa ating panahon? Kasalanan po sa katawan ay vanity. Ang ibig sabihin po ng vanity ay hindi yung bulagsak sa katawan. Ang ibig sabihin po ng vanity ay sobra-sobra-sobrang pag-aasikaso sa katawan. Mahalaga ang katawan, pero hindi kasi halaga ng kaluluwa. The vanity means you spend so much time on the mirror. You spend so much money with the dermatologists. You spend so much money with keeping your muscles stoned. Is it wrong? No. But when it becomes your preoccupation that you cannot be loving anymore, Because you are so preoccupied with your beautiful face and with your sexy body, with your healthy body, then your body becomes your liability. Vanity. Alagaan natin ang katawan. Mag-ingat, mag-exercise, kumain ng tama, mag-vitamins. Kailangan po yun. Pero hindi natin pwedeng sobrang pahalagahan ng katawan natin na nakakalimutan na nating mayroong pang buhay na walang hanggan na naghihintay sa atin. Nakakatakot ang mamatay. Nakakatakot ang magka-COVID. Pero mas nakakatakot ang kasalanan. 
Bakit mas takot tayo sa COVID kaysa magkasala? Bakit takot tayong mamatay kaysa magkasala sa Diyos? When we sin, when we fall out of the grace of God, we are destined for hell. We put ourselves in hell. And yet we are not afraid of hell, we are more afraid of the virus. We must be careful against the virus. We must be careful against sickness because our body is God's gift to us. But not too much. We are only stewards. Your body is not yours. Your body is God's. After vanity, our second sin against body is violence. Violence. Nilulutas natin ang problema sa pamamagitan ng patayan. At pumapalakpak tayo habang may kapwang pinapatay. Pumapalakpak tayo at humihinga ng malalim kapag inilaglag ko na yung baby para wala na akong dagdag na palamunin. Pumapalakpak tayo na patayin ang kriminal sa pamamagitan ng death penalty. Pumapalakpak tayo sa abortion. Wala tayong ginagawa sa AJK. The body of everybody is holy. Your body is holy, the body of others is also holy. And therefore, we must protect the house of God in one another. After vanity, it is violence. And after violence, our third sin against our body is vulgarity. Dahil sa quarantine, at medyo lumakas yung internet at merong available data. Alam po ba ninyo na hindi natin nararamdaman pero merong isang problemang kumakain sa ating mga kabataan? Ano yun? Cyber sex and pornography. Pornography is a sin against your body. Pornography is a sin against the body of others. Cyber sex is a sin against God's temple, which is your body. Hindi natin nararamdaman. Bakit? Sapagkat sikretong sikreto. Hindi natin nararamdaman. Bakit? Sapagkat lihim na lihim. Hindi ginagawa in public. Pero mayroong pong mga nag-aaral. At alam po ba ninyo kung sino sa atin ang napakahilig sa pornography at cyber sex? 12 to 17 years old. Yung anak at apo na ipinanganak ng may internet sa kamay. Yung anak at apo na ipinanganak ng parang may hawak na gadget na hindi na kailangang turuan. Our 12 to 17 year old boys and girls are becoming porn addicts, vulgarity addicts, cyber sex addicts, sex chat addicts, and the body is desecrated. The body is destroyed. The body is ruined. God's temple. When the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven, body and soul, we are reminded that it is not only the soul that is to be saved. The body needs salvation also. In fact, at the end of our lives, ang itatanong sa atin ng Panginoon, pinakain mo ba yung nagugutom na katawan? Pinainom mo ba yung na nauuhaw na lalamunan? Dinamitan mo ba yung hubad na katawan? Tinulungan mo ba yung katawang may sakit at may karamdaman? All about the body. Because the body is God's gift to us. My body, your body, the body of everybody is God's gift. And because it is God's gift, it is holy. Tingin-tingin po tayo sa ating paligid at lag lang basta dasal ng dasal na nakapikit ang mata sapagkat ang katawan na banal na binigay ng Diyos ay nilalapastangan natin at nilalapastangan natin ang nagbigay nito. By vanity, 
by violence, by vulgarity. When we remember the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, please bow down your heads and thank God for your body. It may be sick, it may be disturbed by other ailments, but this is God's gift to you. Banal ang iyong katawan. Agalagaan mo ang katawan mo at alagaan mo ang katawan ng iba sapagkat ang lahat ng katawan ay dapat na malinis. Ang lahat ng katawang tao ay para sa Diyos.